Finally, Mac. You know, we don't have to be at the airport three hours before my flight, right? <laughs> you are not Mac. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> well, then who are you? I'm here because the agency sent me. The agency? Like the CIA? <laughs> no, no, the real estate agency. I'm, I'm your subletter. Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, th I thought when nobody showed up this morning that they couldn't find a tenant and that the broker would just figure it out later. <laughs> well, he, they found me, so... Come on in! <laughs> God, um, welcome to your new temporary abode. Thanks. You must be Maxie Jones. That is me. Uh, you are? Nathan West. Nice to meet you. Um, the freezer takes forever to make ice. Uh, watch out for that floorboard. The nail pops up like once a month and I use my heel just to knock it back down, but I'm sure you'll think of something else. You look pretty handy. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> anyway, um, you don't have to worry about looking at my personal photos or whatever because I cram them all in these boxes and the storage people will be by to pick it up on the second. Uh, do I need to be here to let them in? No, no, the super will take care of that. Um, what else? Oh, you will be sleeping in my room, which is on the left. Your room? You mean there's more than one? The agency didn't say anything about a roommate. Because I, I don't have one. Um, she just moved. You forgot your roommate moved out? Was it, was it sudden? Something like that. So, so what happened? If you don't mind my asking. Why would I mind? It's a, it's a simple story, really. My ex-roommate moved to Portland with the love of my life and my daughter. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you, that's very sweet. You actually carry a handkerchief? Yeah, blame my mother. When I was growing up, she made me carry one. She said it was good manners. Well, she's right. It's just most guys don't care about stuff like this. <laughs> she said I never knew when I might meet a damsel in distress. I always thought it was silly, but I guess I just found one. You know, I need to finish packing. My ride's gonna be here to take me to the airport any minute. Of course. Where are you going, by the way? Oh, hell if I know. I thought I'd just figure it out when I get to the international terminal at JFK. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I, um, hoping to go on some spiritual journey or whatever to find myself. I'm sure that sounds silly to you. No, not, not at all. That's very nice of you to say, but as I'm Actually saying it out loud, it sounds crazy to me. <laughs> I know, I totally get it. I told you, sometimes you have to go where your heart takes you, or your gut. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Kind of hoping that when I get wherever it is that I'm going, I'll just realize that that's where I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, but this spiritual journey of yours, does it have something to do with the love of your life, moving across the country with your daughter? You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It's a gift. Things must have ended pretty badly for you to feel like you have to leave. Pretty badly is the understatement of the year. This has by far been the worst year of my life. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I, I haven't really had the best year myself. In fact, I'm sort of looking for a fresh start too. Well, this is a great place to make that happen. I mean, you're, you're moving into a new apartment, subletting it, technically, but my point is you'll, you'll be in a new environment, so this is your chance to turn things around from wherever they were before. I don't know anyone in this town, and there are two rooms. Maybe we could pick up the pieces together. What do you mean? Well, why don't you stay here with me? You want to... That's very sweet of you to offer. Much nicer than I deserve. Oh, I'll bet anything that's not true. Well, you're only saying that because you don't know me, but my life went to hell 
literally at the stroke of midnight last New Year's Eve. And I promised myself that I would be far, far away from poor Charles this New Year's Eve so that I can start 2014 with a clean slate. I get it. But thanks anyway. It's my parents. They can't find a parking space. I need to meet them downstairs. Let me at least give you a hand. No, I got it. Right. You're breaking my mother's heart here. She'd never forgive me if I didn't take a bag down the stairs. Usually I'm not shy about asking for help, but um, I think it's time I start handling things on my own. Fair enough. So I guess I'll see you when you get back then? I guess so. When will that be? When I find myself. <laughs> Good luck. For what it's worth, you don't seem so bad the way you are. Don't burn my apartment down, okay? Four, three, two, one. Here's to hoping 2014 is um, just a little, just a little less exciting. I'm ready for things to calm down just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so if it's within my power, that's exactly what I intend to give you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Clay, it's me again. It's Detective Nathan West from New York. You can't avoid me forever. I'm not going away anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs>